Hey y'all, welcome back to another video. Thanks again for stopping by. Oh my gosh, y'all, I'm doing another ACV lock detox. And I just wanna say thank you to all my new subscribers. I love you all so, 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 so much. Um, so today's video, like I said, I'll be doing an ACV lock bath on my hubby's locks. He hasn't had any lock maintenance for the past six months, child. And he usually keeps his style in for about two months and then he wears it out for one month before getting a lock maintenance again but we're way past due okay so due to him not washing his hair frequently enough build up forms at the root of his locks which you know it comes from lint dandruff the product so i want to rid all of the buildup from his locks and that's what we're going to do in this video i won't be using any gels or anything um, all I'll be using is my Career Roots Oil. So, in this video, I also won't be wearing any gloves. And I'm sorry if that offends you. I'm sorry if it bugs you or creeps you out or anything of that nature. But, hey, it is what it is. I did want to give a quick um, definition, my definition of what I feel buildup is and what causes it. So, buildup and locks is a combination of products, dandruff, lint, pretty much anything in the atmosphere. It can be caused by the usage of excessive products, different products, um, dandruff, uh, a lot of skin conditions that can occur in your scalp, such as um, seborrheic dermatitis or psoriasis, things like that. And of course, from not washing your hair frequently enough, okay? So we're going to get right into this ACV Lock Detox. I'm just going to start by clearing out all of that buildup that he has accumulated at the roots of his locks. So you guys, I'm just going to say that this video is not as detailed as my original ACV lockback video, 
Um, if you need a step-by-step -step in the measurements and all that, then you can check out my original ACV lock video that I did um, last year. But this one is just showing the process in which this time I didn't add the baking soda and the ACV to the water. I just put it directly on his hair just to try and see if I achieve different results. Um, in which I like both methods. I mean, I really don't prefer one method over the other. Someone suggested I try it like this, in which I did. Um, but I think I like the other method a tad bit better when it comes to just being able to soak your locks. But after I work this mixture in his locks and squeeze all that buildup up, up out of his locks, then you're gonna see me wash and condition and then you'll see how clean his locks are afterwards. So stay tuned. I was so pleased with these results y'all look how clean his locks are his roots are you can even see a little curl pattern up in there it came out so nice Here are the final results, y'all. I hope you enjoyed this video. I sure did. And be sure to follow me on Instagram at NadiaNice.Hair. And I'll see you in the next video. If you try this out, please write me in the comments and tell me how it goes. Send me pictures, whatever. Stay tuned for an update on my hubby's locks. I will do an update video. And thanks again to all my new subscribers. I love you all so, so, so much. See you in the next video.